West Hollywood takes action to keep our city safe. WeHo TV News is next. Welcome to WeHo TV News. I'm Larry Carroll. The West Hollywood City Council received a report recently from the city's public safety office, along with the sheriffs and fire departments. And West Hollywood continues to be a very safe city. Uh, sheriff's deputies remain focused on neighborhood livability and pre preventing crime, which is down 9% overall as compared to last year. Uh, we had 2,947 total calls, 2,193 emergency medical calls. 46 total fires. Your overall parking crime rate is down 9% in the city. You will see that in the report, the major crime trends have been identified. Burglary and petty theft rates are significantly down. And while at the same time, our assault rate and robbery rate have increased slightly, a significant number, 76% of those crimes resulted in arrests and have been confined to club activity and street robbers, street robberies, crimes of opportunity. The focus of the meeting turned it to crosswalk safety. Tonight we're here to focus on the uh, vehicles versus pedestrians, primarily focusing on the crosswalk issues, either being in control of the crosswalk or in control of the crosswalk. So we did, we did a little study for the last uh, three and a half years. In the year 2011, we had 17 vehicle versus pedestrian accidents, which occurred in some form of a crosswalk. 2012, we jumped up to 28. 2013, we went down to 22. And in 2014, currently we are up to 16 controlled intersections versus uncontrolled intersections. In 2011, we had two at uncontrolled intersections, 15 at controlled intersections. 2012, we had nine at uncontrolled intersections and 19 at controlled intersections. In 2013, we had nine uncontrolled and 13 at controlled intersections. The pedestrian activated signal will allow the pedestrian to push a button, which will eventually result in them getting a walk sign that will allow them to cross the street. Those signals would be coordinated with the other signals along Santa Monica. So this, we hope, would increase safety for pedestrians at the same time, it would um, probably result in better traffic flow. I think what we want to come up with is a clear um, understanding and timeline for everything, even if it's just a timeline of getting this stuff back. And what I would also just say, and I know we're challenged, what we want to be a very quick solution will still take time. What could those more immediate solutions be? So I think the first step we need to do in this area is to see the problems that we keep close to us. That's if we want to just turn to the streets, we want to steer them safely, and at the same time, we want to give them the opportunity to promote the time to as well. And I think we should be saying that as trans, as trans are oftentimes the hazardous spots of these vehicles for unsafe conditions and crosswalks. And everybody should know if you're not crossing safely, if you're not driving safely, then you are speaking responsibly as to look at Sunset Boulevard, Robertson Boulevard, Beverly Boulevard, and other roads. Crosswalks that come to mind for all of us uh, that should uh, be uh, reviewed specifically. Santa Monica Boulevard um, is, a, is a 20 year old design. The, the demographics of our city and uh, the, the way in which we have changed the city to become a walkable city have uh, put an extra burden on that street as a utility, as if we were all plugging into the same outlet or we were all turning on the same tap. So, Santa Monica, Santa Monica Boulevard as a, as, a, as, a, as a place, as a utility, I think it's uh, stretched a little thin in terms of its original concepts and some of these uh, signalized uh, intersections and then other things that we hope the Transportation and Public Safety Commission will um, uh, consider and bring the agency to will help us to update Santa Monica Boulevard and all of our streets across the cities. 
The City Council provided several directions, including the development of a plan for signalized crosswalks on Santa Monica Boulevard, performing a study of all crosswalks in the city, and developing an education and enforcement program. We're going to keep you up to date on all these projects as they move along. For more information about the Public Safety Report, you can contact West Hollywood Public Safety Department at 323-848-6414. City of West Hollywood will join the Human Rights Campaign Foundation and other community organizations to present a special blood drive event called Include, Inform, Inspire. So, uh, the Human Rights Campaign inclusive um, blood drive event to draw attention to the ban. Uh, it's a federal ban that denies the ability of gay men to uh, be able to donate blood. We have an incredible need for blood and um, with the technology around there's just no need so the um, Human Rights Campaign, the center, and many other folks will be at our parks on Saturday, September 20th from 10 to 4. And um, I encourage you to come up and learn more about it. I, mean, I think there's a movement um, started, and with all of us participating, we might actually be able to uh, change the federal government's ban on this, and that would be a good thing for everybody. The event will collect blood from eligible donors while encouraging the Food and Drug Administration to re-examine its ban on blood donation from men who have sex with men. The blood drive will also feature a panel of expert speakers, educational materials, entertainment, and more. Uh, the Include, Inform, Inspire Blood Drive event is on Saturday, September 20th, starting at 10 a.m. in West Hollywood Park. And for more information, you can visit hrc.org slash blood drive. September is National Literacy Month and the City of West Hollywood has launched a month-long community event called WeHo Reads. The literary event features book signings and panel discussions and free screenings of uh, classic noir films and more. WeHo Reads takes place on Saturdays in West Hollywood Park and for a complete list of the events, the times and the locations, you can visit weho.org slash WeHo Reads. And for more information about West Hollywood's art and culture programs, you can visit weho.org slash arts or contact West Hollywood Cultural Coordinator Michael Che. Michael can be reached at 323-848-6377. This year's Sunset Strip Music Festival honoree has been announced, and we'll tell you who it is right after this short break. Don't go away. What happens on West Hollywood streets can pollute the ocean just a few miles away. What enters the storm drains eventually ends up in the Santa Monica Bay. So when caring for your own gardens, do not blow debris into the street. Make sure your sprinklers are adjusted to avoid runoff, and when rain is in the forecast, turn them off. Always keep your car well maintained to prevent leaks. Always pick up after your pet, dispose of trash, and especially cigarette butts properly. Remember, everything that goes in a storm drain comes out in the ocean. I admit, I've been a little selfish. But I've changed. Now, I'll do anything for her. Like getting a high efficiency washer and only doing full loads. I even took out my lawn and filled it with those California friendly plants she's so crazy about. She and I, we're in this for the long haul. Be California friendly. Go to BeWaterWise.com for tips and rebates. And don't waste another minute wasting water. Welcome back to WeHo TV News. I'm Larry Carroll. Are you watching on UVerse right now? Because you could be. That's right, we here at WeHo TV are pleased to announce that we recently joined with AT&T UVerse to dramatically expand our reach. West Hollywood Public Access and our bulletin board channels are also included in this package. And you can still catch us on Time Warner Cable, of course, and uh, we're always streaming live at WeHo.org. We'd like to thank UVerse for connecting us to more than 390,000 new customers throughout Southern California. And to our new viewers, welcome to WeHo TV. For more information about us here at WeHo TV, including links to a live stream program guide and recent programming, you can visit WeHo.org slash WeHo TV or give us a call at 323-848-6388. The annual Sunset Strip Music Festival is coming right up, and this year should be better than ever. The two-day street festival is going to include three outdoor stages, interactive musical experiences, plenty of food and drinks, 
and a whole lot more. Local rock band Jane's Addiction has been named the 2014 Sunset Strip Music Festival honoree and will receive the Elmer Valentine Award, which celebrates the music and icons that have made an impact on the legacy of the Strip. The Sunset Strip Music Festival is on Saturday, September 20th and Sunday the 21st along the legendary Sunset Strip right here in West Hollywood. It's a world-class street party. Trust me on this. Traffic will be affected, so uh, remember Sunset's going to be closed between Doheny and San Vicente from 3 a.m. on Saturday the 20th until 6 a.m. on Monday, September 22nd. For more information about the Sunset Strip Music Festival, including the full artist lineup, you can visit ssmf.com or contact Vanessa Cromer at Niederlander Concerts. Vanessa, her number is 323-817-6108. The cities of West Hollywood and Beverly Hills want to help you get rid of your household hazardous waste the right way. By holding another hazardous waste and e-waste roundup, you can safely and legally dispose of things like batteries and televisions, computers, motor oil, fluorescent light bulbs, and a whole lot more. The Household Hazardous and E-Waste Roundup is on Saturday, September 20th behind the Beverly Hills Civic Center. So for more information and a list of acceptable items, you can visit cleanla.com or call 800-238-0172. Okay, everybody, let's all keep in mind that we are still facing one of the most severe droughts in California history, and we all need to do our part to conserve water. The city of West Hollywood has reduced irrigation by as much as 50 percent, and we're keeping an eye on all of our water use in all of our facilities, parks, and public spaces. Find out what you can do to help conserve water by visiting BeWaterWise.com, LADWP.com slash water conservation, and westbasin.org. Well, that's it for this edition of WeHo TV News. For more information about the stories you've seen here, you can always go to our award-winning website, weho.org. And for the latest about what's happening on WeHo TV, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Larry Carroll. Thanks for watching.